na chine ke nanke pro mi hene ina onyo ko na ni ana zopota onyo ko na ni ya bo ku ya ni na bu ye na amen anyi we na ase eze bu pede nkosi na ro tuto na e jamma na nsopuru site na ebige bi maru na ebige ise 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 Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. And remember, blessed. if you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia, or any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contribution. Please, each time you watch my video, go to the comment section and put down your comments. That is me. But they keep talking about this, or recently talking about this, the need for cooperation among several agencies to ensure that they are all fighting this on the same front, on the same page, because that will inspire and instill a lot of confidence. Nigerians can volunteer information, which they are always asking for to help a great deal. You've been involved in all of this in terms of battling this, trying to see what is going wrong, how do we solve this problem. From what you've seen, What's your analysis of how we're approaching this, given the recent narratives coming from government? Uh, let me start uh, by saying that I think the president was uh, right uh, by saying that um, it will not be right to use force at this stage. I mean, given the way uh, these people operate and the way the kidnappers are kept, I think it will lead to uh, too much of collateral damage that will not be, Nigerians will not find, find comfortable uh, to accept. Uh, if you look at the visuals we've seen from, from the bush, you will see that the kidnappers and the victims stay together. Uh, it is not as if they cannot be picked, but it will create so much problems and pains for Nigerians. And given the fact that we've been calling on government to uh, upgrade its performance, uh, in, in this area is going to be a problem. Um, I think to some extent there has been some level of interagency uh, collaboration, maybe at the level of operations itself where uh, strategies are executed. My problem is that um, there don't seem to be too much of uh, coordination at intelligence level. Uh, you know, Why so, do you say so? Yeah, because... Um, I, I'm not sure we have an intelligence model in this country that, uh, that brings together the intelligence of all the, 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 the models of all the organizations, all the security organizations. There are close to 11 security organizations and almost each one of them has an intelligence uh, department. But without a model that coordinates, that brings every one of them together is going to be uh, a problem because each one of them is working in accordance with its own strategy. But yesterday, I mean, we, we looked at uh, the Terrorism Prevention Act and it recommended that, that the NSA's office coordinates all of, all of these activities and they even have, they're supposed to have this terrorism coordination center. Is that to say that that's just on paper? It's not existent? The NSA office is just an advisor. Um, does it have powers to give uh, control, command and control? Does it have command and control power over the armed forces and other security agencies? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think in that regards, there needs to be a law that gives the NSA a, uh, the power it requires to coordinate uh, all the security agencies, especially the intelligence outfits, and also be able to give directive to each one of them. Uh, so it's just an, advice, uh, uh, an advisory office, so I, I'm not sure that uh, the, NF, uh, the NSA office is as effective as one expects it to do in terms of relating to uh, these other agencies. Speak to this impression, because many are of the impression that, of course, there's intelligence in this country, and they then assume that the agencies are working together, coordinating that intelligence to ensure that things go wrong. But are you saying that... I know that, that there is, doesn't exist. That, uh, it, it exists. There are meetings held. But what model is being used? How, what is the law backing it up? Are there institutions? You have the Joint Intelligence Board. 
you have the uh, intelligence uh, committee, I think they call it intelligence coordinating committee or something like that. You have those two strategic committees. But are they institutions or they are just meetings that uh, in intelligence officers from different organizations come together and um, sit and discuss and walk away? So these, these are some of the challenges. If they are institutions, we know that there will be a backroom activity, I mean, coordinating uh, 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 group of people, experts that are coordinating. And then apart from that, you will have uh, an analytical section that do, does joint analysis, working together, planning together. Do they plan together? Do so they? When you were an AIG, this never happened. No, 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 no. Working I, together, I, I, planning I, I, together, with I, 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 ne I never worked. I never worked uh, in the intelligence. And no, 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 I, I, I mean, know, I know that um, I know that we don't have an intelligence model that coordinates all uh, the, uh, the that that answers to all the uh, security agencies. So, by model, I, what do you want to see when you talk about the model? No, what by what model, it be? by model, it means that there is a system and a structure where all security and intelligence agencies derive their powers, uh, work towards. For example, you the police has its own model. The military has its own model, uh, and other security agencies have their own models. There is no one model. In, let me, I'll give you an example. In UK, there is a national intelligence model in UK, and all security agencies follow the systems that are created by this model. But here we don't have it. And so because of also interagency uh, rivalry and because there are no clearly defined rules and responsibilities because we have overlapping responsibilities among the law enforcement and security agencies, you discover that agencies tend, there's a tendency to hold some information and to... Among themselves? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some agencies may hold information because wow. they want to use the information to promote their image. Oh dear. You know, so uh, intelligence sharing, there has to be a model for intelligence sharing. Is there a model for intelligence sharing? There has to be a model for analysis, for collation, for dissemination. Do we, have a, do we have a coordinated system for it in this country? Maybe by the time you speak to heads of these units, because I left four years ago, many things may have taken place. Uh, maybe they will tell you yeah, that now, okay, now we have a model for collation, we have a model for analysis, we have a model for dissemination, uh, and, and all that. And we have a mo model for its use. So uh, it's, it's, for me, it's a big problem. So what I see, what I see is that at yeah. the operational level, there seems to be coordination. But even at that operational level, what is the command and control structure? Wow. Well, my colleagues in Lagos have got questions for you. Guys? In from uh, the question you asked about the counterterrorism center, I'm looking at that, the website of that particular center right now, ctc.gov.ng. Uh, I'll begin there by asking you, uh, uh, Mr. Iwa, what you think and whether or not that's executive enough. For instance, on its landing page, it has that the act, that the Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act, also gives the Office of the National Security Advisor the mandates to ensure formulation and implementation of a comprehensive counterterrorism strategy and build capacity for the effective discharge of the functions of relevant security, intelligence, law enforcement, and military services. So it will seem like there is some measure of authority given by this terrorism prevention and prohibition bill that's been reviewed up to date in 2022. So given this, would you still say it's because there is no law that empowers or what could be missing? I think what you're talking about is a strategy, not a law. Uh, there's so much that, can, as, that is written down in Nigerian uh, uh, policies that are not uh, implemented so much. Uh, you are talking of a of a of a of a NAT test. Uh, I don't even know. I'm not very sure whether currently NAT test has been used or is being used in executing the the, the counterterrorism 
efforts of the armed forces and other law enforcement agencies. Uh, when I was serving, I, I didn't see it being uh, being uh, being uh, executed. So, if it has been reviewed, then that's a good thing. Uh, but let us practicalize it. Mm. Well, the, the question so what, there. One, one yeah. thing I I I I, I know. Yeah. Go ahead, please. No, one thing. Uh, uh, one thing I know is that um, you have strategies all over. Uh, some of these strategies, like the national counterterrorism strategy that was developed many years ago and has been upgraded, uh, was it developed through coordination by all the security agencies, or it was developed or, and the content dominated by one agency? Mm. That well, also needs to be looked into because if it is if it is not coordinated, it is not if it is not coordinated and developed by all the security agencies sitting together then it's going to be a problem in terms of uh, implementation. Don't, don't you see uh, a challenge, I Mr. That, uh, sometime in My sincere 20, apologies. My sincere apologies for butting you. Don't, don't, you see, don't you see that as a challenge where all security agencies have to sit down to have a conversation around intelligence? As you said, we have various agencies of security having their own sub, in, you know, intelligence units and all of that. But then there is a DSS or is it SSS, whichever one, you know, one wants to look at. There is a DMI, there is an NI, and all of those agencies are there. So what would you say to those who have suggested an intelligence clearinghouse? Because it's not for the absence or dearth of intelligence, it would seem given the example we heard about the Kujay attacks, where intelligence was secured that this was going to happen, but it would seem, as you said, no action was taken. So is it a dearth of intelligence consequently demanding a clearinghouse for intelligence or a will to do anything protecting and preventing destruction of lives and property? I think it's a lack of intelligence planning together and uh, a, a lack of uh, teamwork together at that level. If you recall very well, when Nigeria celebrated its 50th anniversary, uh, there was a bomb blast at the, uh, at the Igbo Square. There was intelligence that that bomb blast was going to take place or may take place. But was it shared? It was hoarded by the specific intelligence agency that had that intelligence. So this is some of the things I was talking to you about hoarding intelligence to make you look good. So, but if you have, if, you, if there's a clearing house, the clearing house should not be led by one agency. It should be led by, it should be a joint clearing house. It should, it, 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 it should uh, have the police, the military, the other security agencies in one place working together, defining the intelligence, looking at uh, the, uh, analyzing the intelligence together, uh, developing strategies together, and allocating specific responsibility to agencies that have uh, responsibility for that area of, of operation. For, I mean, take for example this war crisis now. It is the military that is briefing. This is a purely law enforcement responsibility. But is the chief, is the military that is briefing. And, and for, for me, it, I was expecting that, I mean, the operation was jointly conducted, but I was expecting that it is the Inspector General of Police that will give the briefing, because this is a police uh, issue. This is, this, is, this, is, um, this is a law enforcement, a crime problem. Mr. But Ewa. now we find that um, the military itself has become uh, a police organization, what? I mean, in quotes, uh, and so uh, they are allowed to to give briefings on criminal issues. Well, Mr. Iwa, is that suggesting in I mean, any way... in those days... My, in... My, my apologies again. Is that suggesting in any way interagency rivalry when every agency seems to want to show that they are doing something? Uh, it's a symptom of interagency rivalry, rivalry. It's a symptom of it. Because one expects, like I know in those days when I joined the police, uh, even where you had joint operations between the military and the police, when it came to briefing the press, the specific res, uh, organization 
uh, responsible for that crime will brief the press, even if it is joint. And in this case, it is a joint operation between the military, the police, and the SSS and other agencies. But this is a crime situation. It should be, the briefing should be done by the assigned agency that is responsible for crime. Mr. Iwo, I, I couldn't, um, you know, miss out the, the points that you made about how security agencies sometimes hoard intelligence, you know, just to use it to look good, you know, uh, f as, a, as an, an image promotion strategy for their own organization. Is there something, you know, in the code of conduct or at the training level of these security agencies that uh, suggests or encourages them to hoard intelligence, which would be scandalous, scandalous if there is anyway, given the cost to lives and property? I'm not sure there's any training. Uh, we're certainly not in the police. So if, if there isn't, isn't there it? There's no training. Isn't it? I think it's, a, I think it's, a, I think it's just a practice problem. So isn't it reasonable at that level if intelligence is hoarded by security agencies? I didn't get that. I said, isn't it reasonable if intelligence is hoarded by security agencies just so that they can look good? I don't know whether it's reasonable, but I think it's wrong. Uh, but just like I said, because you don't have a, a national model for intelligence gathering, for analysis, dissemination, uh, dissemination and uh, every agency has its own intelligence model. And so because of that, you will find this... Uh, uh, pockets of uh, uh, dereliction of duty. Well, uh, just, just on, that, on that same issue that you raised, one is just wondering, I mean, run trying not to, to cause, you know, whatever disaffection, um, is the fact that there is that information uh, that is also available to us, that there, is, there are intelligence agencies in all the 774 local government areas of the country they get information and then some of that conversation we've had with some people who are active at the local government levels say that they have uh, security councils of sorts where they the the governments of the local government the the council members the traditional rulers community leaders they come together to to take care of these things so it doesn't get out of hand since as they say all insecurity is local so in that regard would you say or agree with those who say that we need to get that level of security checking right or back on stream because all security is supposed to be local primarily? What's your take on that? Yeah. Uh, I think maybe we need to understand what intelligence is all about because... Uh, we keep using this word intelligence, intelligence, we got intelligence, we got intelligence. But intelligence, what, what most people talk about when they are talking about intelligence is information. It's not really intelligence because intelligence is information that is analyzed, that is gotten from various sources. When you get information from various sources, pieces of information, you put them together, you collate them, and then you analyze. And the output... The output of that, uh, that analysis is intelligence. But we keep using the word intelligence as if you pick it everywhere. Of course, at local level, you may have all kinds of information. How do we place value on this information that uh, I got it from, uh, from local areas, local uh, people that are operating in, in local governments and in different local communities? We need to have a system of getting that information out, of classifying those information, uh, a system of looking at the value of that information to what we are dealing with, and the, a system of sending the information to the relevant agency or the relevant unit that needs it for the purpose of analysis. Uh, I'm not sure that at the local level we have that structure. Uh, even among the security agencies, maybe maybe SSS and maybe police, maybe uh, but I, I'm not sure we have a system of collecting information at local level.
putting them together and sending them to relevant uh, agency for the purpose of analysis. Um, I also couldn't miss out the point where you uh, made earlier about the national security advisor being merely an advisor. You know, but the current national security advisor is a retired general. And you know, part of the Terrorism Prevention Act that my colleague Ayo quoted earlier said apart from the act empowering this office to develop a strategy for intelligence, it also mandates that office to develop capacity for agencies. Being a retired general, shouldn't there, this now be uh, sort of a, a soft ground for an understanding to be created between his office and that of the other security agencies? Absolutely. Um, I, I don't know what is happening currently, but uh, I think that provision in the, in, the, in, the, in, in the strategy is apt and will help a lot if, we, if it is translated into practical uh, products. For example, we need to have joint training. We need to have joint uh, treaties, joint seminars uh, with the relevant intelligence agencies and even uh, operational units of all the uh, security and military, uh, military formations. We need to have that. I think the NSA is in a position to drive that process of ensuring that uh, there, is, there is a model and that agencies are brought together to train and that from time to time you have reviews going on of the model itself and the training itself and there are treaties going on uh, not only at the senior level, but at the operational level, the, uh, the, the rank and file level, that this training should, should, should take place. I think it will help a long way. It will help in ensuring that that rivalry is dealt with, uh, is taken care of, uh, the hoarding of information is taken care of, because uh, there, will be, um, there will be a pool where all information will be taken, uh, will, be, will, be, will be sent to. I mean, you, you recall uh, the 9-11 incident uh, in U.S. And uh, by the time uh, they were investigating the 9-11 and the role of security agencies, they discovered that some security agencies, they discovered that the intelligence was there. But there was a gap. But there was a gap. And that was why uh, the Homeland Security, home, home, uh, home, um, Homeland security. Homeland security came about. The home, Homeland Security Act made sure that there was intelligence coordination you send all your intelligence into one pool, and if you need it... So that's what you mean that, that, by that clearing yes, which center. means there is a model. And that is what we talk when we talk about clearing house, for example. I, I need to revisit so. this, which my colleagues read, about the role of the National Security Advisor in that Counter-Terrorism Prevention Act of 2022, which says, A, uh, the National Security Advisor shall formulate policies for the effective implementation of concerned, uh, concerted counter-terrorism and terrorism financing efforts. B, ensure the effective formulation and implementation of a comprehensive counter-terrorism strategy in Nigeria. C, provide support to all relevant security, intelligence, and law enforcement agencies and military services to prevent and combat acts of terrorism and terrorism financing in Nigeria. And then let me run all the way down to E, which says, subject to the approval of the president, he shall establish a national counter-terrorism center for effective coordination of relevant agencies under this act. So that suggests the president has a huge role to play here to ensure that it's a huge a gap, responsibility. He has to fill it. Yes, sure I, I, I'm, I don't know the extent to which this has been all the uh, responsibility there have been uh, established and practicalized. I don't know the extent uh, because these are intelligence issues. Not you don't you don't get to know everything that is going on. Uh, but uh, I think uh, those that information talks yeah. to what I'm talking about about having a national intelligence model that will help in articulating all information and intelligence that. I mean, that that you get many listening to you will wonder does that mean that in spite of all these billions of dollars huge resources that the country channels towards security it's just some of these little things that is thwarting the efforts of those agencies that gather things but it's not analyzed centrally that seems to be a missing link here yes i think wow. so i believe so 
But uh, and perhaps the National Assembly, uh, this is one area that they have oversight functions. They call the service chief Simon again. They call IGBs as well to come and brief them. So these are areas that we expect that they should ordinarily see. They've had security summit themselves, the National Assembly. So these are things that we expect that they should know that this, are, this is the missing link and this is what needs to be addressed. But well, speaking about those briefing which you referenced, so if it's um, a, a joint operation and you think the IGP should have been given that briefing since it's a criminal matter, but in some cases it can be joint briefing as well because yeah, after sure, the military sure. extracts Absolutely. what they need, the IGP Thank can so give the information, information at all agencies. Absolutely. That's what you mean by sometimes it can be that way. Yes, absolutely. So, and, yeah, and, and let me, let me just, just come in. Uh, you talked about the National Assembly uh, coming in. I think what we need in this angle is, is the National Assembly to, to, to give us a, a law or National Intelligence Coordinating System or National Intelligence Model from which a strategy or a policy can be developed. Uh, I'm not sure there's any law okay, in this country day, on intelligence. Here. Thank you for watching. I'm not sure. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I think it's somewhere that the Mr. Masters can look at. So and uh, uh, talking about you will be um, to the, the briefing, yeah. nice. there's All nothing right. wrong See even you. if the, the army is to lead in the briefing, but the IG is sitting there, with him, the DSS director is there, and each one will talk say something about uh, uh, the issue.